Hey there, Concho Valley meteorologist Chris Boone. On the it has been a warm Mother's Day so far, and again, taking a look at the satellite and radar, a lot of storms starting to pop up in parts of eastern Texas, but we have seen some showers and storms begin to pop up here in the Concho Valley as well. So we take a zoom in, a little bit closer look to us here. We've seen a couple showers, one storm off towards the area like Menard, Brady, and Eden, kind of in that little triangle between them. You get a couple lightning strikes with it as well. As we've been seeing that bubbling action during the afternoon. We're still seeing some of that off towards the west of San Angelo in northern Erie County. So we could be watching for a possible shower to develop out of that as well. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch that is in effect for parts of the Concho Valley, or part rather. Mason County is in uh, under that watch until 10 p.m. Again, most of the action is staying well off towards our east, but we do catch the tail end of that front. Again, Mason is the only significant county in the slight category. Everything else starts to really tailor taper off rather as you head further west. So again, kind of keeping an eye on that. Mostly clear skies. We do see uh, some clouds bubbling up again looking towards the west from our cactus cam and looking at temperatures in the upper 80s, 89 with those northeasterly winds. We're going to see those cooler temperatures as we continue through the afternoon. We're really seeing these cooler temperatures moving across the Concho Valley. Lower 80s for parts of the northern Concho Valley. And then we start to see that real transition between the upper 80s and lower 90s right along the central parts. And then even the southern parts of the Concho Valley. Closer to I-10, getting to mid-upper 90s. So again, 97 Sonora, 95 in Ozona, and 96 in Junction. So again, warmer, but we'll be watching for that cooler air to continue moving south as we go through the next several hours. Tonight, 60 for your overnight lows, cooler, and then a 20% chance of an isolated rain shower. So those rain shower chances really start to pick up as we go into tomorrow. We'll just increase the cloud coverage as well. We're going to stay a lot cooler, only getting into the mid-70s for us here in San Angelo, still hanging on to those northeasterly winds. Also picking up is also the tropic activities. Tropical Storm Andreas as out in the eastern Pacific. Fortunately, it is expected to move off towards the northwest and weaken as it moves over cooler water. So not expecting any real significant impacts with the tropics. Again, that's something we'll kind of keep an eye on. But I've got tonight's KLST weather trivia, plus we'll have your extended forecast right here on KLST tonight at 10.